Alright, so this is a video on a new Infinite Live Underflow method that was just found, um, as far as I know at least, uh, using a back ring in Meteor Herd that exists for some reason. Um, it exists where the Chow is for M3. As I'm really bad at the clip out, or rather clip in, I'm just going to be going about this normal way. So what you need to do is you need to go to the M3, you know, where, where the uh, Chow is, and then you climb to the top on this wall, and you wait. Set your controller down, you browse Twitter, you do whatever, you know. I have a phone, you browse Twitter on those. That's a pretty funny tweet. Look, look at this tweet, guys. I don't know if you can read it, but if you can't, too bad, because I'm not showing it to you anymore. So yeah, um, now we just have to wait for the meteors to kill us. You can like, pull out your Nintendo Switch trademark and play Tetris. In fact, that's what about what I'm going to do now. I'm gonna play Tetris. I hope you'll bear with me while I play Tetris. Eventually one of the meteorites will hit you and you will die. Until then, you can get a new sprint PB. All right, there you go. So that's the first of two deaths that you have to do. Now you can put down your Nintendo Switch TM onto your lap. Climb all the way back up to the top of the level. And repeat this process once more. I'm still thinking about that tweet, by the way. Pretty fun. I almost died before I wanted to. That would've been really bad. Again. Back wall. Up. And wait.
All right, and now from there you need to grab yourself one life to complete the whole everything. Um, one that I personally am going to grab is just up at the top in the corner right here. There you go. Now I have 99 lives. It took forever. I think you just go out to the game and uh, we'll enter back in. There you have it.